Hi everyone, I'm Ryan Meisner, and I work on exam development here at NCARB. With the upcoming launch of ARE 5.0, we'd like to give you a quick demonstration of one of our new item types, hotspots. In this video, we'll walk through an example and share tips on how to use the tools at the test center. In ARE 5.0, hotspot items will be used to ask graphic-specific questions. What you see here is similar to what you'll experience in the testing center. Hotspot items will present you with an image, and to answer the question, you will click the correct location on the screen. In this example, we are asked to click the area where through wall flashing is required. As you move the mouse over the image, you'll see a set of crosshairs appear. Clicking on the image marks a red crosshair and registers your answer. Clicking elsewhere on the image moves the red crosshair and marks a new answer. Your final answer is recorded wherever the red crosshairs are located when the exam is exited. In this specific problem, we are looking at a section drawing for a louver through a CMU wall with face brick. We want to be sure water does not get behind the louver, so we place the through wall flashing just above it. So how does scoring work on a hotspot item? The computer is looking for the center of the red crosshairs to be within the acceptable scoring area. It does not require they be in one specific location. Clicking anywhere in the scoring area will score the question as correct. All hotspot items are worth one point each. Thanks for joining me as I demonstrate the new ARE 5.0 hotspot items. Be sure to check out our other videos on the new drag and place items and case studies. For more information about ARE 5.0, please visit incarb.org.